One of the best things about gardening and cooking with kids is showing them where their food comes from. So these are my little helpers today. This is Sol and Lyra. You can say hi, guys. <laughs> now, these veggies have gone through a lot to get from the garden all the way through to our dinner plate. So what do you think, guys? Should we do some gardening? Yeah. We've got three great little projects that will entice the little ones to get their hands dirty. So let's get started, yeah? Come on. I find that kids are often attracted to fun, bright colours. So I've picked up this little wheelbarrow and we're going to turn it into a veggie planter. So what I've done is drilled some drainage holes at the bottom, we've filled it with some good quality potting mix and now we're going to do a little bit of planting. You got your gloves on, guys? Have you ever planted a seedling punnet like this? Yeah. Yeah, in your school garden? So each of those little plants is actually an individual lettuce. So you have got about nine lettuces in that punnet. So we're going to separate them. We're going to start by tipping it upside down like this. And can you separate each of those little plants for me? And I'm going to get you to do a little bit of planting. If you poke your finger into the soil first, get a little bit of a hole there, and you can pop the plant in. And then just push a little bit of the potting mix around it. We're well into the cooler months now, so we're planting some cool season crops. So things like broccoli and cauliflower. I've also got some colourful leafy greens that can be planted year round. I thought you guys might want to see this. This is a dwarf broad bean. And if you look closely, you can see the seed that the plant has sprouted from. Isn't that incredible? And that's going to grow up and then it's going to produce broad beans, which you can pop into your mouth and eat yourself. So this is called sorrel and you can put it in your salads. It also kind of looks really cool, don't you reckon? A little bit dinosaur-y, prehistoric. One of the great things about a project like this is that kids can really see those plants grow from seed or seedling right through to the point where they're harvesting them and popping them straight into their mouths. Sprouts are a really quick, easy way to grow food at home and I'm going to show you a quirky way to grow them using nothing but the good old household sponge, water and toothpicks. So I'm just using the blue and pink sponges here to form the walls of our house and I'm going to join them together with toothpicks. Now you want the sponges to be moist but not too sodden because remember we want our house to stand out nice and strong. I wanna ride my bike to the end of your street Ride to the place where you and I would meet now you'll notice there's a little bit of a gap there. So I'm just going to shove some sponges in there to form some little green steps. Spent a quarter on a promise ring. Swore that you would always wait for me. Now the beauty of sprouts is that you can grow them in nothing but water. So the kids have been busy mixing up for me some of these little sprout seeds with water and they're going to paint them onto the roof. So here, guys, I've got a paintbrush for each of you. So basically, those seeds are going to be embedded into the wet sponges. And the idea is that those seeds will sprout and will get almost like a green roof. Sprout seeds come in lots of different sizes, but I find that the tiny ones work the best and they also germinate fast. There you go, one bottle each. Now the important thing to remember is that you'll need to keep those seeds moist. So I'd be misting them at least twice a day. And then just watch how quickly they grow and develop. And in a couple of weeks, it'll look like this. Ready for your sandwiches and salads. Do you guys like The Hungry Little Caterpillar? Yeah, it's a great little storybook. And this is a really fun way to grow food as well. So what we're gonna do is make use of some old pantyhose and we're going to chop them off at the legs. I'll do this little bit with the scissors for you. And we're going to stuff them with potty mix. So first of all, we're going to form the head of our caterpillar. And we're going to get slowly smaller with each ball so that we form that natural shape of a caterpillar. And look at that, we're forming our caterpillar. It's looking good, should we do the next one? Sure. All right, teamwork again. I'm going 
to do something a little bit different. We're going to use a compost blanket. I'm going to wrap our caterpillar in it. But we're also going to put string around it to reform those caterpillar segments. All right, so we're going to do a little bit more planting. So we've just put a few holes in our hungry little caterpillar. Just make sure when you're cutting the holes that you go through both the compost blanket and the pantyhose to get to the soil below. And we're going to sprinkle some chive seeds in there and we just sprinkle them down. Then all you need to do is water them in, put the caterpillar in a sunny spot or even on the windowsill and in just a few weeks time you'll have this big green fairy looking caterpillar. So we're just putting the legs on our hungry little caterpillar and then we're going to water those seeds in. So guys, thank you so much. You've been unbelievable. We've done three projects today which have inspired kids to get out in the garden. Have you been little troopers? High fives? Yeah.